Hi, I'm Joe Campanelli. You're watching eHow.com. Today we're going to go over three simple techniques to extract more flavor out of some of the fresh ingredients you're going to use for cocktails. The first technique that I want to show you is called bruising. And bruising works really well when you want to extract flavor, but you don't want to tear apart or break apart what you're using. So I really like to bruise fresh herbs like mint and verbena and all you do is you put the herb in your hand and then you use your muddler and you just hit it. Oh wow, it makes it so much more aromatic. Now if you don't have a muddler, you can totally use a bar spoon or, or any old spoon. So the next technique we're going to do is called muddling. Muddling is a little bit more vigorous than bruising in that it's really going to release a lot of the juice and essential oils in the way that bruising doesn't. So you take your, your either your mixing glass or in this case your rocks glass. You can add a few limes and then take your muddler. Just make sure that when you buy a muddler you don't get one of those painted ones because eventually the paint's going to wear off and that's just going to go in your drinks and you don't want to drink that. So you take your muddler and you just press down and twist. Press down and twist. Now if you want to accentuate the muddling action, you can add a little bit of granulated sugar. And the sugar is going to act a lot like sandpaper. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too much. So it's going to act a little bit like sandpaper and really sort of grind it and get all that juice out. There you go. So this is a great technique for uh, caipirinha or mojito or any time you really want to leave the fruit in but extract a lot of the juice and the flavor. The last technique we're going to go over is shaking. Shaking is the most vigorous of the three and it really extracts all of the juice and every little bit of pith and essential oils from your fruit. I usually like to use shaking in a cocktail like a whiskey sour. A whiskey sour is whiskey but it also has orange and cherries. So let me show you the way we'll, we'll do this. First, add your oranges to your, to your mixing glass. And you know, it's not as important that the oranges are as perfect as when you're going to make a garnish. So you can do them sort of rough. And then we're going to add some cherries and a little bit of whiskey. So you need that liquid in order to really extract the flavor. And then fill up your glass to the point where it's just above the rim. That's how you know there's enough. And you take the top part of your Boston shaker. When shaking, I like to have one hand on the front and one hand on the back. There's a really tight seal here, but this just makes me feel a lot better. Just remember that the larger your ice cubes, the longer it's going to take to cool down the drink. So first you break the seal and it's actually really easy to break the seal. You just take the palm of your hand and make sure that the glass is facing back like that and it breaks. So now take your Hawthorne strainer and you strain it right in. There you go. So you see all the little bits of orange and cherry are dissolved in the solution and you also have fresh orange and cherry in the drink. Thank you so much for watching. Try these techniques at home for a really fresh tasting cocktail. I'm Joe Campanelli. Catch me again at ehow.com.